Angels in the Architecture is a recent work for wind band by prolific composer Frank Tichelli. The work was written with the space in which it was premiered in mind, and that space was the Sydney Opera House, and in the summer of 2008, a mass band led by Matthew George gave the first of many performances of this work. The title, while also a Paul Simon lyric found in the song You Can Call Me Al, was inspired by the Sydney Opera House's design and the halo-shaped acoustical ornaments directly above the stage. The piece also incorporates the angel as a character via the soprano soloist that appears at the onset of the work and in its conclusion. The vocalist sings a 19th century shaker song, I Am the Angel of Light, while accompanied by an angelic mixture of crystal glasses and whirlies, which are tuned aerophones made of plastic tubes, which are whirled in a circular fashion above the head. Another halo element going along with the title. Suddenly, the angelic music in E-flat major is joined by the darkness music, which comes from the depths of the ensemble and is in the tonality of A minor. The darkness overtakes the light, and the full ensemble states the dark theme in octaves, with deafening silences between each statement. The music then takes off in the new fast tempo, with a lot of rhythmic activity and mixture of harmonic and melodic gestures and effects over the driving eighth note pulse. The next section presents the next original theme, which is the chorale of light, heard in the horns and trombones, then woodwinds, starting in E-flat major and modulating to C, and so on. After a few phrases of the chorale, a traditional Jewish melody is used, Havenu Shalom Alakaim, which means, we come to greet you in peace. But on the repeat of the melody, the darkness starts to overtake the light again, with jarring brass stabs, which are harmonized in perfect force against the C minor tonality. The darkness section is repeated with variation and now in E-flat minor, then suddenly halting and descending to the depths of the ensemble once again. Over the low drone, the solo bassoon then solo clarinet play passages. The C pedal pulses in the timpani and low reeds, with a long building section with chromatic harmonies pushing towards the full 1812-esque treatment of the chorale of light, played by the full band, now with the added organ and celebratory church bells. The Chorale of Light starts to morph, in an Ivesian way, into the Old 100th, a 16th century Genevan Psalter tune. As the music winds down again, the flutes and celeste quote the Old 100th, as the bell tones subside, as if fading away in the distance. The soprano returns, singing the shaker melody in E-flat major again, accompanied by the whirlies and crystal glasses, and this time joined by the gentle humming of the E-flat B-flat fifth by the musicians' voices. It almost ends peacefully, but the dark peaks back in with an A tritone in the bass, which is symbolic of the constant and eternal struggle between darkness and light. Angels in the Architecture is a magnificent menagerie of borrowed religious music and originally composed materials woven together to portray one of the oldest and most definitive of humanity's struggles, the battle of good and evil, light and dark, God and the devil. And with no definitive winner at the end of this work, it leaves you to ponder the questions we all try to find answers for, whether through religion, the pursuit of knowledge, artistic expression, mindful introspection and meditation, or other philosophical study. But regardless of if an answer is found, or even if one exists at all, we are undoubtedly enriched by our search for the answer, and in that search finding meaning in such a struggle, and in living.
Thank you.